Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. If it is your first time here, then hi, I'm so glad you clicked on this video. My name is Roisin, it's the Irish version of Rose, which is why my channel name is Rose Keeps. Much easier to spell for all involved. Today I am doing the third and fourth updates to my 2023 project pan. If this is your first video here, I will link the playlist for my project pan up in the eye and you can go watch it from the introduction. Now, obviously the updates would usually be one update per video. Basically what happened, I filmed the cutaways for update number three, but I didn't have time to film this part of the video, the chatty bit of the video. And then I was kind of putting off using stuff because I didn't want there to be really obvious dents by the time I got around to like filming the main bit and was holding things up versus how much it had been used in the cutaways or whatever. So I was being really kind of like shy with my usage of things. I think I was going to get caught up on filming this part of update number three. And then it basically got to the point where the time I had time to film it, the next update cutaways were due to be filmed the next week. So I just actually filmed them and now I'm filming this part and we're just going to do update three and four as one video. So that's what's going on, uh, so let's get on into the video. Now, as I said, because I was running late with filming the chatty part and I was kind of putting off using things between update three and four so that they didn't look different when I was holding them up in the video, I didn't maybe use things as much between update three and four as I would have liked to have been using them, but what I can't account for is product expanding between updates. The product in question is this, it's my clay mask. To jog your memory, this started at 56 grams. Update number one, we went down to 52 grams. Update number two, we went down to 40 grams. And for update number three, this was down to 31 grams, which I was super, super pleased with. Then for update number four, it's gone up to 32 grams. I don't even understand how that can happen. I definitely used it between update three and four as well, so it should be down. It's not even like I didn't use it. I did use it, maybe not as much as I would have normally done, but even if I used it once, it shouldn't have gained a gram. As you can see as well, between update two and three, I did use my tube squeezer and got it down to the bottom because it was becoming really, really difficult to get product out, but I had already done that by update number three. So it's not even like moving the product around has somehow upset it or something. Plus the whole bottle fits on the scale. So really can't explain that one. We lost nine grams between update two and three, then gained a gram between update three and four. Very, very strange. But the good thing about this is that it is really, really hard to squeeze out. So definitely by the next update, I will have had to cut this open to get into it. Whether I will have finished it by the next update or not, I don't quite know. It might be the update after, but I will definitely have had to cut this open to get into it by the next update. And I'm kind of hoping that it will just be finished by the next update. That is the plan. If you guys can see that, it's really, really well used now. This is really what's left. There is a bit clinging to the side, but that's all dried up. So that's not going to be usable product anyways. It's really just what's down at the bottom here and... I'm hoping we can use that by the next update. I mean, hopefully it can't grow anymore, right? Theoretically. That little blip in the scales does kind of make me a little bit suspicious now of my other product that I'm weighing, which is my foundation, but we have had a reduction on this at least it's, it's it's gone that way rather than like that so I mean I suppose it's all just an indicator I don't really know how it can have gained but it, it's an indicator and I know that I've been using it and that's the main thing update number two this was down to 30 grams between update two and three I used one gram I got it down from 30 grams to 29 grams and between update three and four I got it down another two grams so this is now at 27 grams. It's getting really quite difficult to squeeze out. Definitely need to have it standing up, really shake the product down. So although there's no windowing or anything here, I'm presuming that's actually just the color of the packaging or maybe there's just product sticking to the sides. I don't really know. There's definitely no sign of that going down, but the product's definitely going down and it's becoming quite difficult to get out. I don't think I'll have finished it by the next update or anything like that, but I'm. I'm definitely like 
feeling quite confident that this will be finished within the project. Um, I'm still really enjoying using it, so no complaints about it. I've got it on today. I think it's a really, really nice foundation. And today, as usual, I used it in conjunction with the Chanel Le Blanc de Chanel. And I brought that down pretty much a kind of standard amount between every single update. It's the thing about this primer is that it's so pretty and light reflecting that even if I'm not doing a full face of makeup, if I just want to do a little bit of a base, a bit of concealer, some mascara and maybe like a lip gloss or whatever or a lip balm, I'm still getting to use this. So I feel like I am probably working through this more quickly than working through anything else because it doesn't need a full face of makeup for me to be able to use it. I'm really enjoying using it. I think it's such a pretty, pretty primer. I feel like I hadn't really properly appreciated how beautiful this product was before I put it in this project pan. So I'm actually going to be really sad when I finish this, which I am definitely confident that it will do within the project. You know, I have no no worries about that. If you look at how much it's coming down every month, you know, I think there's definitely still like quite a few months worth of product left there. You know, I don't think it's going to be finished anytime kind of soon. I think it'll be towards the end of the project before this is knocked out, but I do think it will be knocked out within the project. Still really enjoying it even, you know, four months into the project with really consistent use and not getting bored of it. I am sometimes reaching for other primers at weekends or whatever, but really happy to be using this during the week, being quite loyal to it and yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll miss this when it's gone. So I'm glad I put it in the project and that I've gotten to know it and know that I really like it and also that I'm getting to use it whilst it still seems to be good. It's definitely technically expired within my collection, but it's not turned into anything, the formula is lovely, so I'm glad that I'm getting the use of it before it does expire because it's definitely one of the older items in my collection. From my primer right to the other end of my makeup routine, my setting spray is in this and I said in the last video this packaging had started leaking and that that was really inconvenient because it meant I wasn't obviously feeling great about travelling with this or taking it out and about with me if I was ever, you know, doing my makeup like on the way to work or anything like that. So I have actually decanted it. I spent like quite a lot of time debating whether I could buy a spray bottle or not. I am doing a no buy in 2023 so I was a bit like, does this break my no buy? Like I feel like it does but I know it's going to make me use the product so much more. And then what happened was I finished my camp hairspray went to move on to my other one which is in like a spray bottle like this and I think the actual formula is fine but the bottle I think is broken I hadn't used it before so I don't know if it's broken with age can that happen if a bottle just sits unused can the like mechanism go I don't know you push it down it won't push down properly and no product comes out so I was like do you know what I'm gonna buy this use it for this setting spray just now and then once this is done which hopefully will be quite soon. This is now all we've got left. I'll be able to decant that hairspray into it to get the use of that. So I thought actually I'm down to that's the only hairspray that I've got. And I really want to finish this because I actually, so you should have seen my inventory update for April and May before this video goes live. So you should know I won the Lisa Eldridge competition on Instagram and I won her new cleanser and her setting spray. And I'm trying to obviously finish the existing setting sprays that I have before I move on to that one so that just it's not something I would have purchased was another setting spray as much as I was so delighted to win the competition so I was really interested in the cleanser um, and that is something I would have purchased I probably I wouldn't have purchased another setting spray but it was so joyful to win it so I'm really really pleased with that and really looking forward to using that one at some point but this is an item that's very utilitarian for me so it's not something I want to. I now have three. This one, the backup that I already had and now the Lisa Eldridge one so that just definitely makes me want to get on with using this. So this is all that's left. This was how much was in it when I first decanted it which was after I'd filmed the cutaways for update number three so I feel like just from decanting it, I've got some use of it, used it already, reduced it down and I'm kind of hoping, if not the next update, that the update after that this will be done. So really, really pleased with my progress there.
I will stick with the makeup items and talk about my hourglass blush. Between update number two and number three, I used it six times and then between update number three and number four I also used it six times. My goal is to use this a hundred times within the project. At the moment I am currently sitting at, so that's 12, 24 times so we've got 76 times left to use this within the project so I definitely need to step this one up a little bit. I've been really reaching for peachy lips and because this is obviously quite a pinky blush I've got it on today. Um, I feel like it's kind of clashed a little bit with the sort of peaches and the gingerbreads that I have been reaching for lip wise so I've been using other blushes but I feel like I need to definitely just get committed to this. I think this is one that towards the end of the project going into winter I feel like I reach for those berry tones a lot more at that time of year and I feel like I'll probably ramp my usage of this right up at that point but I also don't want to leave myself in a position where we get to like the last two months of the project and I've got 50 uses or something still to go so I feel like I've said it every update but I definitely need to step my game up with this one so I'm going to try and make the so I am not going to try I am going to make the commitment that by the next update I'm going to come back and say that I used this 10 times within this month for update number five so 10 times by update number five that's what we're aiming for and hopefully that'll give us maybe a little bit more of a visual change. I feel like there's not been much visual change. As you can see, I have obviously finished four powders in this palette so far. So I do know with these that it takes ages to kind of get that pan and get that first visual change. But once you get it, the remaining product seems to go fairly quickly. So I, I know that it's maybe not going to hit pan super soon. And I might have just, I'm hoping 100 uses will be enough to hit pan though. The other makeup item that I want to hit pan on is the highlight from my Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. Again, there's not much of a visual change. I've been using this really consistently because I use this with that blush, but also with all the peachy blushes that I've been going for and the nude blushes. I've just really been enjoying this. I think it's a beautiful highlight. So I've definitely been getting lots and lots of use out of it. There's not really any visual change, so I don't know how close I am to even being near the pan or anything like that, but hopefully pan by the end of the project. That is the aim, fingers crossed. One of the products that I feel really confident about the changes in and feel like I will definitely finish up by the end of the project is my Kerastase Nectar Thermique. You can see again, this has come down quite consistently. I will say I've gone and put this in the project and then this year, I feel like I've been leaning towards more like heatless curls and heatless methods of styling my hair. It's a bit annoying that I've put this heat protectant product in just as I've started using a lot less heat on my hair. This at least once a month. Generally I'm trying to use it twice a month when I blow dry my hair and we are definitely getting down to the bottom so I think in another three or four months this will be done. So it'll be done within the project and I'll be so glad about this because I've had this for so long. The other hair product is my oil. Again, it comes down a little bit every month. I did get like quite a big jump between update number one and update number two and then update number two and number three. Not as much of a jump as between update number three and four, but again, possibly that's because I was putting off using the products because I thought I was gonna film update number three, this part of update number three at some point rather than ending up putting them together. But then on the flip side as well, again, I've been using less heat in my hair and I feel like with not using heat I maybe also kind of want my hair slightly less conditioned just to make it maybe a bit more manageable and more likely to take the shape from a heatless curl so I'm maybe not using as much oil and kind of conditioning products because of that that's maybe the flip side to the heat heatless styling still came down a little bit and we will keep using it and hopefully it will keep coming down even just that tiny bit every single month that will all add up. Another one that comes down just a tiny bit every month 
is my fresh rose serum again it's come down pretty consistently every month now that we are on to updates three and four four months in i've used this chunk in that time that i feel like although it only comes down a tiny amount every month that has really added up and i would never have used this size of chunk had i not had it in the project so really really happy that i put it in i love this product it's just very rich so I can't use it too much and if I don't have it in the project then I kind of forget about having it to use it so I'm really glad that I put it in really enjoying using it it smells lovely I don't like rose scented things generally but I do really like this and it just makes my skin feel super super soft really enjoying it glad it's in the project and hoping to keep going with consistent use And the last product is perhaps the least exciting but also like changes in the air with it product finally which is my perfume so as you guys know this has now gone down below what I can visually see I put this new bit of washi tape on it because I was hoping it would start coming down when I tipped it upside down and start be able to track it coming back down the way I have not checked been able to do that as you can see there are no marks on the washi tape yet for updates three and four we're still just stuck here but it is hovering it is hovering right on here like i can see it kind of jumping up and down so by the next update there will a hundred percent be a mark on this washi tape like we're basically like right here right now like i couldn't even quite mark it for update number four but update number five, we will definitely be well on our way to this tape and I am so happy about that. It's definitely taken longer than I thought it would. So this obviously went much deeper into this than I had kind of imagined it did. But we are definitely, definitely going to be on this one by the next update. So from there on out, the perfume updates should become a bit more dynamic and a bit more interesting to see. So that is everything for update number three and number four put together. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like project panning, I do have a playlist from last year, my 2022 project pans, and it's got my main project pan, my 12 pans of Christmas, and my 13 by Halloween that I did in 2022, all linked in chronological order in one playlist. So I will link that up on the end screen if you want to go and watch that. Thank you very much for watching this one, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.